Question number 301. You are using a language understanding service to handle natural language input from the users of a web-based customer agent. The users report that the agent frequently respond with the following generic response. Sorry, I don't understand that. You need to improve the ability of the agent to respond to request. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Add pre-built domain models as required. 2. Validate the utterances logged for review and modify the model. 3. Migrate authoring to an Azure resource authoring key. 4. Enable active learning. 5. Enable log collection by using log analytics. 6. Train and republish the language understanding model. Option A, 5, 2, 6. Option B, 4, 2, 6. Option C, 2, 4, 6. Option D, 1, 2, 6. The correct answer is Option B, 4, 2, 6. First, you enable active learning to collect ambiguous or low confidence utterances. Then, you review and validate those utterances to improve the model's understanding. Finally, you train and republish the model so it can respond more accurately to user queries. Question number 302. You are building a conversational language understanding model. You need to enable active learning. What should you do? Option A. Add so all intents equals true to the prediction endpoint query. Option B. Enable speech priming. Option C. Add log equals true to the prediction endpoint query. Option D. Enable sentiment analysis. The correct answer is Option C. Add log equals true to the prediction endpoint query. To enable active learning in a conversational language understanding model, you must allow the service to collect data for analysis. Adding log equals true to the prediction endpoint query enable logging of user utterances, which is required for the active learning feature to surface low confidence prediction for review and model improvement. Question number 303. You use the Azure AI custom vision service to build a classifier. After training is complete, you need to evaluate the classifier. Which two metrics are available for review? Option A, recall. Option B, F score. Option C. Weighted Accuracy Option D. Precision Option E. Area under the curve AUC The correct answer is Option A. Recall Option D. Precision In Azure AI Custom Vision after training a classifier, the service provides key evaluation metrics to access model performance. The two primary metrics available are precision, which measures how many of the predicted positive cases are actually positive, and recall, which measures 
how many actual positive cases the model correctly identified. This matrix help balance false positives and false negatives. Metrics like F-score and AUC are not directly provided in the custom vision portal interface. Question number 304. You have a language understanding resource named LU1. You build and deploy an Azure bot named Bot1 that uses LU1. You need to ensure that Bot1 adheres to the Microsoft Responsible AI principle of inclusiveness. How should you extend Bot1? Option A. Implement authentication for Bot1. Option B. Enable active learning for LU1. Option C. Host LU1 in a container. Option D. Add direct line speech to Bot1. The correct answer is Option D. Add direct line speech to Bot1. To adhere to Microsoft Responsible AI Principle of Inclusiveness, solutions should accommodate a broad range of users, including those with disabilities or different communication preferences. Adding direct line speech allows users to interact with the bot using voice instead of text, making the bot more accessible to people with visual impairments or literacy challenges. This aligns with the goal of designing AI systems that are usable by as many people as possible. Question number 305. You need to implement a table projection to generate a physical expression of an Azure Cognitive Search Index. Which three properties should you specify in the Skillset Definition JSON Configuration Table node? Option A. Table Name Option B. Generated Key Name Option C. Data Source Option D. Data Source Connection Option E. Source the correct answers are Option A. Table name Option B. Generated key name Option E. Source These properties are required in the table node of the skill set definition to project enriched content into a structured table format. The table name defines the output table Generated key name ensures each row has a unique key and source specifies the location of the data in the document used for the table projection. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 306. You have an Azure Cognitive Search solution and a collection of blog posts that include a category field. You need to index the post. The solution must meet the following requirement. Include the category field in the search result. Ensure that Users can search for words in the category field. Ensure that users can perform drill down filtering based on category. Which index attributes should you configure for the category field? Option A Searchable, Sortable, and Retrievable. Option B Searchable. Festival and Retrieval. 
Option C, retrievable, filterable, and sortable. Option D, retrievable, festable, and key. The correct answer is option B, searchable, festable, and retrievable. The category field must be searchable to allow keyword queries, retrievable to include it in search result, and festable to support drill down filtering, which is based on aggregating values like categories. Question number 307. You are building an app that will process scanned expense claims and extract and label the following data. Merchant information. Time of transaction. Date of transaction. Taxes paid. Total cost. You need to recommend an Azure AI document intelligence model for the app. The solution must minimize development effort. What should you use? Option A, the pre-built read model. Option B, a custom template model. Option C, a custom neural model. Option D, the pre-built receipt model. The correct answer is option D, the pre-built receipt model. The pre-built receipt model in Azure AI Document Intelligence is specifically designed to extract structured data like merchant name, date, time, taxes, and total cost from receipt, which matches the requirement. It minimizes development effort by eliminating the need to train a custom model. Question number 308. You are building an internet-based training solution. The solution requires that the user's camera and microphone remain enabled. You need to monitor a video stream of a user and verify that the user is alone and is not collaborating with another user. The solution must minimize development effort. What should you include in the solution? Option A, speech to text in the Azure AI speech service. Option B, Object Detection in Azure AI Custom Vision Option C Spatial Analysis in Azure AI Vision Option D Object Detection in Azure AI Custom Vision The correct answer is Option C Spatial Analysis in Azure AI Vision Spatial analysis in Azure AI Vision enables real-time monitoring of video streams to detect and track people in a space, making it ideal for verifying that the user is alone during an online session. It minimizes development effort by providing built-in capabilities for people detection and spatial reasoning without requiring custom model training. Question number 309. You have an Azure subscription. You plan to build a solution that will analyze scanned documents and export relevant fields to a database. You need to recommend an Azure AI document intelligence model for the following type of document. Expenditure Request Authorization Form The solution must minimize development effort and cost. Which type of model should you recommend 
for the above document type. Option A, custom noodle. Option B, custom template. Option C, pre-built contract. Option D, pre-built invoice. Option E, pre-built layout. The correct answer is option B, custom template. Custom template models in Azure AI document intelligence are ideal for analyzing structured documents like expenditure request authorization form. They require minimal training data, are cost effective and reduce development effort when the document layout is consistent, making them suitable for extracting specific field into a database. Question number 310. You have an Azure subscription. You plan to build a solution that will analyze scanned documents and export relevant fields to a database. You need to recommend an Azure AI document intelligence model for the following type of document. Structured and unstructured survey forms. The solution must minimize development effort and cost. Which type of model should you recommend for the above document type? Option A. Custom Neural Option B. Custom Template Option C. Pre-Build Contract Option D. Pre-Build Invoice Option E. Pre-Build Layout The correct answer is Option A. Custom Neural For structured and unstructured survey forms, a custom neural model is best suited because it can handle varied layout and unstructured data. It minimizes development effort and cost by leveraging AI to learn from examples without rigid templates, making it ideal for complex forms with diverse formats. Question 